Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. This video is part of my viewer comment response series where I respond to a comment made by a viewer against one of my videos. And the particular comment for this video goes as follows. Oh my goodness, you never fail to amaze me on how well you know what you're talking about. I could easily listen to you for hours. Thank you. Off the topic of this video, I noticed that on the introduction on your older videos, you said to be working on a luxury lifestyle management business. Would you mind breaking down how that actually works? What are the services provided and how I can find such a service provider? I'm going to split the video into three distinct sections based entirely on the questions posed. The first section will talk about what lifestyle management is. The second, the services that come under the umbrella of lifestyle management. And then the third section, I will suggest um, some of the best ways to find a service provider for yourself. I'm Anisu Sagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. So whether you're someone who's young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're into luxury but you want to focus more on the brands that operate very much under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, then my content is very much geared towards you. Lifestyle management is a service-focused business that has mushroomed off the back of the family office. A family office is a private wealth management advisory firm that looks after the financial and non-financial needs of an ultra high net worth individual. On the financial side, think of services such as private wealth management, investments, uh, budgeting, insurance, taxes, uh, transfer of wealth. And on the non-financial side, think of services um, that are of a more personal nature, services um, that are commonly referred to as lifestyle management. For example, sourcing a property or properties, getting them decorated, organizing staff, sourcing luxury items, managing estates, private jet, yachts, whatever the needs of the ultra high net worth individual, the family office provides a total outsourcing solution. But what's happened is due to the power of the internet and more so social media, social media has opened up this whole lifestyle management to a much wider audience. And it's no longer just for the preserve of your ultra high net worth individuals. There's been an explosion of varying types of your lifestyle management companies catering for all lifestyles for all budgets for all tastes there's something for everyone and essentially with lifestyle management you are employing the services of a company that is the bridge between um, the commercial side so your brands the service providers the vendors and then the end consumer the client they are able to match, to marry uh, the expectations, the standards, the desires of the consumer with the right product or service. And that is essentially what I do. And when I started my luxury business over 15 years ago, it was, it was literally by fluke that I got into sourcing hard to find luxury items. I had a couple of very good contacts into the very big uh, luxury lifestyle management businesses at that time, quintessentially and 10 management. And what would happen is a client would get in touch with them and say they're looking for this particular hard to find item, a watch for example, and they'd get in touch with me and then I would find the watch, fly out to wherever it was in the world, pick it up and then deliver it to the client or bring it back to London and then it was couriered to the client. And what I realized very quickly was that the client who was looking for, who needed, who wanted um, a hundred thousand pound watch right up to a million, for example, they were somebody who was incredibly cash rich, but very time poor. And what they did was they surrounded themselves with people who were switched on, who were very quick thinkers, but most of all dependable. And very quickly, my business morphed from just sourcing hard to find luxury items to 
um, your, your full scale luxury lifestyle management. And I say luxury lifestyle management because my focus is purely on luxury when it comes to the products I source as well as the services that I provide. When someone employs the services of a lifestyle manager, it's typically for one of two reasons. They either want to save time or they would like somebody who can educate them about the products and services that are available to either enhance or add variety to their lifestyles. When it comes to saving time, it's typically your personal assistant services, uh, somebody who can help you manage your diary, can help you either personally, professionally, they can do it either virtually, or they come to your home or attend meetings with you. They're then able to help you save time and you can use that time either to, um, to work and do other things with your business, or you can use that time socially and you can relax and do other things. The same lifestyle manager would also be able to help you with organizing the diaries for your children, organizing other functions around your home. They can be as heavily or as lightly involved as you would like them to be. The other option is having somebody who um, offers a wide array, a company or an individual who offers a wide array of services. And they educate you as to the options that are available to you and how they would enhance your lifestyle or add variety to what you possibly are already doing. Companies are split into two categories. You either get the companies that are focused on one or just two services. Think, for example, companies that um, source some of the best um, properties in a city, in a country, or globally, or companies that organize access and build holidays around some of the biggest cultural, entertainment, and sporting events. Or you have, on the other side, companies that are focused on a much wider array of lifestyle enhancing services, like my business, for example. I'm going to include the link to my website in the description down below. So think of services such as sourcing properties, organizing the interior design of the property, um, uh, sourcing staff, sourcing supercars, access to private jets, to yachts, organizing top-notch holidays, uh, sourcing art, for example. The list is endless and it depends entirely on your needs. How the two categories of companies charge, uh, typically you find uh, companies with uh, your single services, you come in and you use them as a one-off, a particular project, you're charged for that project and you're done. Whereas the companies that offer a much wider array of services, you find they charge a joining fee and then they charge either a yearly retainer or a quarterly fee and you have access to the services to their services as and when you need them but which one you employ is very much dependent on your needs how would i recommend you finding the best service provider for you there are one of two ways you either look online search on social media for example you find an event a holiday whatever it is that you're looking for that has been executed to a very high standard, to a standard that you are impressed by. Approach the company, lifestyle manager, start a dialogue and find out if their services are suited to you. The second option and the one that has got me most of my business is through referrals. Get a referral from somebody whose sense of quality is similar to yours. Start a dialogue with the company, with the lifestyle manager, get to know them and understand their services. The most important thing is you need to make sure that your sense, your level of quality is on par with the lifestyle manager. At a very minimum, it's on par. At best, and to ensure your expectations are always exceeded, their sense of quality, what they deem fantastic, amazing, is better than yours. Lifestyle management is very much a relationship focused role. It's crucial, it's pivotal to the success, to you reaping the maximum benefits of having a lifestyle manager. They get to know you, understand you, your personality, and even other extenuating circumstances that would possibly affect the services they recommend, what you like, for example, race, religion, um, extended family, being sensitive and aware of all the dynamics around you. That way, they're able to, to get to know you, understand you, and they can recommend products, services in your absence. Think of you when something comes up because they, they know you sufficiently to be able to say, oh, my client would like X, Y, Z. Any other questions? 
uh, about the content in this video, anything else around lifestyle management, let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, do share this video with other people interested in the finer things in life. And of course, like it if you learn something new and do subscribe so you don't miss out on future content.